Hey everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For our Time of Legends Joan of Arc this week, things really seem like they're slowing down as we don't have weekly updates for Joan of Arc at this point. But this is simply because we're getting to the boring parts of the project where we don't really have anything exciting to report. But we are still moving forward at a fairly good pace. Most of the scenarios for the Teutonic expansion are now fully translated and ready for layout, which will soon begin now that all the tiles have been drawn by our tile artist, Karl Art. Development of the scenarios need to end for us to commission the correct tiles, but we're very pleased with how they all turned out. Along with those tiles, we've also been able to assemble the Teutonic Knights punch boards, which are now ready for production too. The oversized tiles from the Pledge Manager have also been finalized. Regarding those oversized tiles, packaging was going to be an issue if we didn't find a solution to the gigantic triple tiles. Uh, basically, there would be too few extremely large tiles to go with these bulk of single tiles, which means that they would really be frail and would most likely get damaged during shipping. Hence. All double and triple tiles will come as multiple single tiles. For example, tile 4A will be cut into 4A 1 of 3, 4A 2 of 3, and 4A 3 of 3, which you will have to place side by side to form the final tile. The regular double and triple tiles will not be affected by this decision, however. We've also assembled the punch board, which will be included in the update pack. And it may be the smallest one we've ever made. It's just two tokens. Uh, these tokens were missing from the initial core box print, so we're sending them to people who already backed the game. The actual punch boards for the new backers have been updated to add in those two necessary scenario tokens. And that basically concludes our update for Joan of Arc this week. We, of course, will make sure to keep you posted according to the development of the remaining aspects of the process when we have something exciting to share with you. And now for a brief yet still important update on Super Fantasy Brawl. QML has said that U.S. fulfillment is completed and that Canadian fulfillments are on their way to Ontario for final processing. Their ETA to the hub should land towards the end of the week. Meeple Logistics reports that in Europe and rest of the world regions, unshipped parcels stand at just 339 right now, and a third wave of address verification emails has been sent. So if you are in one of these two regions, please check your email boxes for that address verification email. If not in your inbox, the email could very well be in your spam folder, as servers sometimes tend to filter our emails there. We've been seeing so many thankful posts and pictures since pledges began arriving on backers' porches, and we want nothing more than to get your pledge to you, but we need your help in verifying your shipping address. So, if I may borrow a line from Jerry Maguire, help us help you. For Enchanters this week, we are proud to announce that Enchanters has now finished printing and production. Now, please note that all individual orders are being packaged at the warehouse. So when the games arrive at their respective hubs, expediency will rule the day and they will simply have to send the packages to the backers. As soon as we have the boat names and their departure dates, we will keep you as well informed as we can with the details that are passed on to us. For Hell the Last Saga this week, we tested a scenario, the chronology of which we can't reveal so as not to spoil anything for you, but it portrays a scene from the daily life of a relatively peaceful camp, as the members of the clan accomplish the tasks generated by the queen's wishes. Contrary to other scenarios, morale is not lost. It is rather gained by completing the tasks ordered by the sovereign and making sure she notices your hard work. This will become a typical example of a semi-cooperative scenario in Hell the Last Saga. 
the most successful player will see his or her characters upgraded first. There will be many opportunities for the heroes to showcase themselves to the detriment of the others. Action and adventure lovers can rest assured, however, certain events will seize up and break the camp's routine with the abruption of a strange cloud of ravens, chasing a prisoner bent on escape, and of course, the hostiles whose brutal presence is ever at the forefront of the clan members' minds. This scenario will feature between six and eight heroes, depending on the number of players. Last but not least, the reward it will offer to the most clever competitor will be a sizable one. The choice to choose their characters first during the following scenarios. Well, yesterday was the day, Torchbearers, and you showed up in magnificent fashion. Darkest Dungeon, the board game, had the most successful launch of any Mythic Games project to date. At the time of the shooting of this video, nearly 6,000 torchbearers have already pledged over $760,000 to bring the campaign to life, and we aren't even a full day into it yet. So we can't thank you enough for such a promising start to this highly anticipated campaign. Now, backing the campaign at the Dungeon Pledge or more is a sure way to get something that others simply won't have. And that's a free promotional Musketeer Mini. Now, there are three basic levels which you can back. There's a $1 Torchbearer Pledge, which basically gets your foot in the door so that you can take part in the Late Pledge. There's also a $100 Dungeon Pledge, which reserves for you a core box, all the unlocked stretch goals for the core box, and that free Musketeer Mini. And then finally, there is a $150 Crimson Pledge, which grants you everything in the Dungeon Pledge, plus the Crimson Court expansion and all the unlocked stretch goals for the Crimson Court. Now, it's truly shaping up to be an amazing campaign. What stretch goals will be revealed? What heights will be reached? So will you answer the letter? The campaign will run for just another 15 days. So get that carriage moving, make your way to the hamlet, and scribe your mark to join the next adventure delving into the darkest dungeon. Now remember that Leo will be live later on today at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English. And at 8.30 p.m. Paris time with a live Q&A in French. So stay tuned if you have any questions and meet with the ancestor. But that's it for this week. Stay home, stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care. <laughs>